The art of deception was a weapon for Americans during World War II. Trickery carried out by members of the U.S. Army remained a secret for decades, and the veterans responsible went largely unrecognized. But that changed today when they officially received one of the nation's highest honors. They were known as the Ghost Army, 1,100 artists and engineers who used their talents on the World War II battlefield to trick Hitler and the Germans. This was held secret. It was held secret. My parents never knew where I was. So we learned how to camouflage equipment, how to uh, make fake equipment, guns, tanks, trucks. We made it out of wood and then we covered it with burlap and then painted it in camouflage colors. We all applauded and said we accomplished our mission. WGN's Mike Lowe spoke to Schomburg's Bernie Bluestein, one of seven surviving members of the Ghost Army, back in 2022. That was the same year President Joe Biden signed legislation to award the units the Congressional Gold Medal. Through the perilous fight. Thursday, the now 100-year-old Bluestein and the Ghost Army units received that honor, one of the nation's highest. It has been well worth the wait, right? National recognition for their deceptive tactics that had remained sealed until 1996. These secret soldiers were innovators, and they played a decisive role in turning the tide and winning the war. Rarely, if ever, has there existed a group of such few men which had so great an influence on the outcome of a major military campaign. That's really something, really something. Ensuring the pivotal work of the Ghost Army will be remembered forever. Yeah, I'm very proud and happy to be here to receive this honor. Thank you. Pretty incredible. The Ghost Army staged more than 20 deceptions, including on D-Day. It's estimated they saved between 15 and 30,000 lives. Incredible to see that legacy honored. Absolutely. Wow, gives you chills.